Good day, everyone, and welcome to today's uh, tutorial. Before us here is a question on uh, calculus, and the question says, y here is a function of x equal to x exponent sine x minus square root of 1 minus x squared all over 1 plus x squared. If you look at this question, this question is a very complex question. Uh, it was sent to me uh, by a student from the uh, University of Australia, Mechanical Engineering, 200 level. So, I uh, want us to look at the question. Let us look at it systematically. We are going to solve it now. Um, it comprises of what different functions here. Because uh, what you need to understand about the differentiation, the first of all, you must first of all understand the rules of uh, differentiation. Then when you understand the rules of differentiation, then you also try to identify which type of function uh, are what involved. So, now when you look at this particular function here, this here, it has a function of x here, then we write another one at top here. So definitely this becomes what? A function of a function. Mean that what? It has a chain rule. But something is missing here. Here is x. In exponent function, we have exponential function. We only have for where we have exponent x. Now, when, when I take the, the derivative of this now, it will give me exponent x also. So, but in this case now, we don't have uh, exponent here. We only have an x here. So, which makes this question kind of complicated. But don't worry. We are going to want to look for a way to release this x here. To release it from this uh, exponential function. So, okay. What we need to do now. Here, if you look at this particular function here. We have quotient inside the root, and this root also covered or comprises of this. Meaning that what inside here we also have a quotient, we also have a function of a function, which is a composite rule. We are going to use that. Another name of that is chain rule. So in this case, now let's first of all solve this now. So let us uh, rewrite this solution. So I wanted to watch carefully as we solve this. Now, for us to rewrite this now, to make it to have a, a standard uh, derivative. Remember, well, there is one law of derivative, one standard law. If I have uh, rest of our x, if I want to find the derivative of this, there is a standard law that says that one, it will go a rest of our x lean a. Mean that lean a is what? Log a. To base e so this one is only for one number a here what is a number it's not what uh, an alphabet so it means that we cannot apply this rule we cannot apply it here so which is why i want us to uh, look for other means to uh, to demystify this question now what i need to do now uh, we have to introduce exponents then we have to work y as a function of x now equal to so the next thing you do now, let us look for a way to make sure that we then have what a standard derivative. I will take exponents. Now remember that in exponents, if I take exponent lean x, if I say exponent lean of x, it will still give me that same x. Meaning that what? I will just put lean of this now. I put it on, on this exponent here. So it will still give me exactly this what I have. So that is the algebraic manipulation I want us to carry out now. So what we we'll do now, we are going to have, uh, in this case, it's going to give us what? Lean x, then sine x. Okay, then minus this one, bring it here. We have your roots, 1 minus x squared, all over 1 plus x squared. So remember that here, this now, when it opens this bracket here, it's going to become a log functional. Okay, so with me, that was this sign that we have to count down. So we should now give me uh, your y function x now. It's not give us what exponent what. Uh, it's not become sign with count down. It's not become sign uh, x. That was not be sign x. This is sign x with count down. Then lean x. Then minus, bring this down as usual. 
the root of 1 minus x square all over 1 plus x square. Okay, so we cannot be solving these two of them together at once. So let us solve this first of all, this left side here, this particular one here, this first term. Then later we solve this. After solving both of them, then we come and combine. I have what our final answer. So let us differentiate this now. So if I should take the differential of this now, uh, that is differential coefficient of exponent sine x lin x, it will be equal to. Now, if you notice here, this is exponent sine x lin x. So there is a function here. This is another function on its own. Y exponent is also a function. Remember the standard derivative we have a exponent x. So when we differentiate, it's going to give us what? Exponent what? x as usual. When you differentiate, it will still give us this. Meaning that what? We will now have to apply chain rule here. So applying that chain rule here, it means that this exponent u, that means we let u be equal to this. Now, I don't know when we differentiate with respect to y to u, uh, y with respect to u, I don't know we are going to have exponent u. We still multiply our results. Meaning that what here, we are going to have a, in doing that now, we're going to have an exponent sine x lin x now. Okay, then it will multiply the differential coefficients. Because here now is another function of this product. Of this product, sine x lin x. I don't know if you are getting me. So, that is what will happen. So we are now apply what chain rule now, but inside here we have a product uh, rule to apply. So mean that at the end of the day, this will multiply the whole thing. So, so let, let us differentiate this now. Your product rule says that what? you keep the first one constant, you differentiate the second one, you multiply together. Then the next one, you say plus, then you keep the second one constant now, you differentiate the first one, then you multiply together. Simply, this is the law. We have uh, uh, the y, the x is equal to v, the u, the x, plus u, the v, the x. So that's the law. All right. So now we want to apply this now. I don't want to waste time by saying uh, let u equal to this, let v equal to that. No, that will make the work so rigorous. So what we just need to do now, just obey this principle. Keep the first one constant. Differentiate the second one. You multiply together. You put that one as the first term. Then plus. Then keep the first one constant. Now keep the second one constant. Rather, then differentiate the, uh, the first one. Then you multiply together. That gives you the differential coefficient of this. All right. So let's go. Now, in doing that, now remember we still have this here. So we have your exponent sine x lin x. Then multiplying. Applying this now. You keep uh, this very first one constant. Let's differentiate this now. That is for u dv. So let me keep the first one constant here. I will, multi I will differentiate this. Then if I keep that one constant, I will, I will have sine x. Then multiply. Now let's differentiate uh, lin x. The standard derivative of uh, lin x is equal to what? 1 over what x. So it becomes, it becomes 1 over x. Multiplying that. Then plus. The next thing you do now, keep this one constant. Then differentiate this now. So if I keep uh, lin x constant, I'm going to have lin x constant now. Then differentiate sine x. It's going to give me what? Cos x. All right. Remember what we are solving? We are solving to get uh, this first uh, part of the, of the question. So we are still going. So let us, uh, let us simplify this now. So if you want to simplify this at the end of the day, this will become... This is 1 over x automatically. Then we then have, uh, let's continue from here. We then have uh, exponent uh, sine x lin x. Then multiplying everything. Here we have uh, sine x over x. Sine x. Sine x over x. Then plus, we take cos x. Cos s will come there before lin x. We have a uh, cos s. Okay, let me the boss. Let me 
let me clean the app here. Let me clean the app here. So let me clean this way. So what am I trying to say? I will have a exponent uh, sign x, ln of x, then multiplying here become sign x over x, sign x over x, then plus cos s ln x. Okay, so that one is for the first one. But remember, we cannot leave this like this because in our original question, it does not contain this uh, exponent. It totally has uh, x. So uh, finally, the the differential coefficient of this first part now will become because here we made a transformation of this. So for us to transform this one back to original, it's going to give you that same x. So here, that means your your differential now will now give you equal to x sine x. We we'll go back to its original form. Then sine x over x plus cos x lean x god now what you do keep this term write this somewhere that is for the first word part so let, let us move to this other second uh, term of the question so let me clean the board all right okay now look at this now the second part of the expression so we have to differentiate this now so the differential coefficient of the whole of this function here Remember I told you, inside here we also have uh, two functions. The first one is the one that has to do with the square roots. It means that it comprises this, this two, this quotient that is inside. So there is quotient inside the, word, the roots. Meaning that we are going to differentiate what with composite function then of the whole of this. Assuming I let u equal to 1 minus x squared all over uh, 1 plus x squared. So you're going to give me what a composite function. So I'm going to differentiate uh, the the, the u all right now what you need to do we try to do that so we're taking that and remember that this square root means what half it means that the whole of this now is sitting and seeing the differential coefficients of uh we have a one minus s square all over uh, one plus s square then this to power half that is what it means so so the moody square root means what this to power what half so this is sitting as doing that so now it means that what this composite function, I've got to this power now, then differentiating, I will take as a chain rule for one, then inside I will use a quotient rule. So taking that now, remember that the power rule now, I will use that now for the for the chain rule. So I will take one away from here, then I'll use this one to multiply uh, the whole of this. So remember, at the end of the day, this is going to multiply whatever we are going to have here in this. So now, that's what you are going to do. So the differential of this one, I will now give me equal to. I will take half, multiply this one, then multiply the whole of the expression 1 uh, as s square all over, then 1 plus s square. Now, when you take 1 away, it will give you negative what? Half. God. Now, let us go. It's going to multiply the differential coefficient of the quotients. So, the differential coefficient of the quotients. What is the quotient now? 1 minus s square all over what one plus s square please i want you to calm down and listen to this uh i watch this solving uh carefully so that we don't what omit any steps so now let's go this is our v remember that our, our our quotient rule in differentiation i will go to have your dy the x equal to v the u the x minus u dv dx all over v squared all right so this is what we are going to apply but i don't want to go as far as writing all this and then uh, saying let u equal to this let v equal to this no you just obey the simple uh the simple rule what the rule says that what here you keep the, this one you keep the second one constant here you differentiate the first one then you multiply it okay that's what this means then subtract yeah then keep the first one constant now then differentiate the second one then you multiply it then all over that's what you just need to do okay so in doing that now so i am differentiating this now then i will multiply it with this so let me differentiate this now let me differentiate just this let me differentiate this now. this one is already here so if i differentiate this now 
according to what I just did now, I will keep this one constant now. I will keep this, uh, this is our V, I will keep V constant. You give me what? 1 plus S squared. Then let me differentiate uh, this du dx now. Let's differentiate this uh, uh, x raised to power 2. Then we have negative here. So it will give me what? Negative 2x. Okay. So then you subtract. That is the subtraction here. Now let's keep this one constant now. This is u. Keeping it constant, I'm going to have 1 minus x squared x squared then then let us differentiate now we have dv dx now let's differentiate the v here now so which will now give me 2x 2x now remember we have our v squared all over v squared what is our v squared sorry put the value for v v is for 1 plus x squared everything all squared now okay so now let's open brackets Let's combine it with this. So when you open the bracket now, then you're going to combine with this now. So let's combine. What you do, we have here on the left side, 1 over 2, then 1 plus, okay, 1 minus s squared over 1 plus s squared. Then it's multiplying. Remember, it's multiplying this, which is this one. This, what we got here is for this. So now this negative 2, we open the bracket. So let's distribute it. So in this case now, we are going to have a negative 2x here, negative 2x, then negative 2 times this here is going to give us a uh, negative 2x cube. All right, then remember that it's negative here also. We put that negative there because this negative you also multiply the brackets. So then 2 times here, it gives, it gives you 2x, then 2 times here, it will give you a, uh, because of this negative that is here. It's going to give us a positive 2x cube. Okay. It's going to give you a positive 2x cube. All right. So, everything over 1 plus x squared all over what x squared. Okay. Let's continue from the other side. Let's clean the, let's clean the top there. Do not forget to keep this. Keep this one. Keep this one one place so that I don't have at the end of uh, simplification. We are going to add everything together. All right. Here we have two raised to power three here. So now, before we write here, bring this down. Remember, this one is multiplying all of them. We have uh, one over two, then bracket one minus what s squared all over uh, one plus s squared, then raised to power negative what half. Okay. Here. In this place now we have a negative here, a positive. So this one and this one is gone. So we have a negative two and negative two. That will now give us what multiplying by what negative four x, negative four x all over one plus x squared all squared. Okay. So let, let's go. Let's uh, reduce it now. That is half here multiplying here. This one is what. Uh, it's multiplying everything. So this half here, this one here can cancel here. It will, it will remain two here, okay? So it just means that what? Let's try to uh, do with this negative, all right? So what this now means is that it will now give us one all over, okay? So to, uh, to eliminate this negative sign, give me what? One minus S squared all over one plus s squared then raised to power half remember it is it still the stating as saying the root of the whole of them then multiplying what is this well, here we are now left with 2x 2x then 1 plus s squared then over what s squared okay now there is something i want you to understand here remember that this one over now is not a reciprocal affecting this and this. So I want us to expand this because this place, this is where you need to be very careful so as not to what commit what mathematical blunder. Now look at it here. So these two here, what will happen now? I am going to distribute this uh, half to both this, both this. So it means what 
this the square root is affecting both this one and this all right so now what will happen now it will not give me equal to like this it will not give me one all over one minus x squared then this to the power half then this one we also have a one plus x squared this to the power half okay this to the power half then multiplying remember here is negative do not forget okay let's bring the negative here the negative let's just keep it here let's just keep it here so that we don't forget let's keep the negative there then here becomes 2x over then we have a 1 plus s squared all squared all right so we want to simplify for that what this simply means about this is a reciprocal so this we have to go up how about this one will come down so the next thing I remember we are still solving for the derivative of the other right side the second term this one we got for that x uh, x raised to the power sign x this is one we got for it when we solve when we evaluate it so remember at the end of the day we are going to combine all of them together to have what our final what results so now let's simplify this how do we do this now remember this is one all over here and here this we have to what go up why the other one comes down so we have a uh, one plus x square raised to the power then 1 over 2, alright, then over, this will come down, 1 minus s square, raised to power 1 over 2, then multiply by 2x all over 1 plus s square, all squared, okay, so at this point, now let us cancel, because here, look at it here, numerator here, we have a 1 plus 1, 1 plus s square, here yeah, we also have a 1 plus s square. So let us what cancel. Cancel now. It means we want to remove this one from inside here. It means this particular one divided by this. So it now becomes uh, <laughs> it becomes the law of exponents or indices. So in indices, when I have uh, x raised to the power a divided by uh, x raised to the power b, it's gonna give me what well, I think it's gonna give us uh, x raised to the power a minus b. So remember this law of exponent. That is what this one is simply talking about now. So it means that inside this bracket, since the whole of this thing is enclosed inside a bracket, so it's not acting as if it's a single entity. It's acting as if it's x. So the same way we apply it here. So we only just have to deal with the powers. So doing this now, we are going to remove this power. We're going to remove this half from inside what uh two. That's just what you just need. You just say two minus half. You can use your simple fraction to do that. 2 minus half. So this over 1. Then you can take the SCM. The SCM is what? 2. 2 goes here is 2. 1 goes in 2 is 2. Times this one is 4. Minus 2 goes here 1. 1 times 1 is 1. So I know you're going to have a 3 over 2. So that is what we are going to have now. So which means that if I cancel, if I cancel this out, cancel here, at the end of the day, yeah, remember that is negative sign. Do not forget this negative sign. Okay, so I don't agree. I'm going to have a negative. Yeah, it's out. We have one over here. Yeah. I can just put the roots like this. Let me put the roots. Let me just put the roots like this. Um, one minus x square. It's called you see the thing as half. Then times. So I don't agree. This one will not take this part. That is what we have at the end of the day when we cancel out. So now give us 2x over 1 plus s square raised to power 3 over 2. Okay, so what this now means is that the square root of this now raised to power 3. So let's finish it from the top. Let me so on, let's transform this out to become like this. So, so that I've got these two multiplied, let's combine the two together. So now, uh, we are going to have, uh, this will now give us equal to uh, negative, that's 2x all over. So we have uh, the square root of this, the square root of 1 minus x square. Then, then we also have, uh, down here, we also have uh, the square root of 
the square root of this because of this uh, this one this will become the square root then then it raised to this because the square root of one plus s square raised to the power of three okay so we can leave it like this but in sort remember in sort when the roots and the roots roots and roots when they are multiplying each other so we have what a single root for all of them so meaning that what at the end of the day i am going to have my negative as our der derivative for this negative two x all over then would i have what the square root of the square root of uh let's bring this positive side let's bring it to this side one plus s squared then raised to the power three then multiplying one minus s squared all right so that is for the right side do not forget that is one we have kept here so it is this one we are going to combine with this to obtain our final result look at it remember that when we differentiated this we obtained this this is what we obtained so i am going to bring this down so finally our dy dx we are going to combine it too so what we differentiated for this and the result we got was this i wrote it here which is x sine x multiply sine x over x plus cos x lin x okay now there is negative sign here already there is negative sign then minus well there is going to be another minus here look at this we got for this so what we got for this what we differentiated this is this this is what we got we got this for this particular one so uh, it, it carries for negative so doing that now so let me not just put the negative there let's just turn it to positive because there is negative here so it will become positive please you have to manage the board because the board is not that wide you know so it's gonna be what plus 2x then over okay we have uh, the square root the square root of we have a uh, 1 plus x raised to the power 2 then to the power of 3 also multiplying 1 minus x squared that is the answer so you can see imagine this kind of question give it to a student in, uh, in exam hall how many hours will it take so if you have any other approach to solving this question please don't fail to share if you enjoy this class please extend this knowledge by sharing this video and also subscribe to our youtube channel bye